Hi, everybody. Hello, Connie. Hi, Teresa. Hello, all my friends out there. And okay, today, Grayson and I are just going to show you um, what the house is looking like with uh, spring touches and Easter touches. And it's just so gorgeous. I can't stand it. So let's see, let's start over here on the coffee table. You can see there's some uh, Easter stuff going on there. Now this, you guys might recognize, this is a little galvanized truck. And I painted it white and did kind of a sloppy job on it. And I'm still thinking about adding a little, uh, you know, a little bit more rust. There in certain areas, faux rust, I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't need it. I don't know. I think it looks pretty darn cute right now. Okay, so there's that. And then here, look how cute. These are those carrots that I painted black and then I painted white. Love, love, love. I think they turned out so cute. So easy and so cute. And they're rolling all over. And then I've got my black eggs. And then these are just those... Uh, pastel colored uh, fillable eggs and I just did some uh, um, Mod Podge with some uh, pages from an old book. So cute. Love, love, love. And then here, same eggs and I just covered them in some, uh, you know, skinny rope from the dollar store. And I just love the colors, obviously. And then you may recognize this little cutie patootie. Look, it was gray before, and I just did some uh, sloppy white painting on it, so it looks a little distressed. And I added some little white dots in the eyes just to make them sparkle. And there we go, so cute. And some moss, and there's that purple basket that I painted black. Looks so cute. Looks good with the green moss in it and the black eggs. The black eggs came like that. I just I just happen to love black eggs, so I bought those. Looks pretty darn cute, huh? And this is a seashell Connie gave me. I put it under glass. It looks so cool with my fabulous huge topiary from Ikea. And I have since painted the pot Connie Black. <laughs> I think it looks really good. I think the whole setup looks really good. And I've got some more greenery over here. Added a, a little one behind Connie, my spider plant, just to make it look a bit more lush. And then on the other side, we've got that one over there. Love, love, love. Also faux plant from uh, Dollar Store. Just a couple of picks in there. Oh, and I have added just some uh, panels of um, an old bedspread, a Mat, La Mat Lose bedspread on both my chairs and the reason for that was not only did I think the chairs looked just a little too simple but Grayson loves to sit up there and she she makes kind of a mess sometimes so it's just easier for me to take down the panel than to take the whole slip cover off you know so anyway it's just easier for me and Grayson doesn't seem to mind <laughs> okay and then over here oh Added a little bit more greenery underneath the uh, Connie, Connie's adamant. This is Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> oh, Connie. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, here's another Easter display. This is a bunny I've had for years, and it's it's like the only bunny I found in all that time that I really really like. And I added this little pocket watch to his little paw. And then this is just a replica of an old school book that I got um, on the internet. And I just love that kind of stuff. Like here, I'll show you. Like this one's pretty interesting. O is for an ogre, owl, orange, and oak. <laughs> and I think the I is for imbecile, etc. <laughs> anyway, I, I love stuff like that. And then some more of my little little eggs. Another one of my little rope eggs. I think these turned out really cool. 
they were kind of fun to do. It was very relaxing because I wanted the rope to be very close together because it's like, well, I can't even tell now, but there's a pink egg and a green egg underneath these ropes. So yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot something, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to light the candles. Look how cool. So I've done some more work, some more editing. And look, I hung some old reproduction parchment papers up there because I like the color of those with, you know, the sponges there and with the mat around here. Just thought it made more sense than just bringing in some more black. I think we have enough black. What do you think? I think it looks kind of cool. And Connie suggested I put more silver down here, so I did that. And yeah, I think she was right. She was right. It was just all white before. It needed to be broken up. So once again, she was right. I think she's, I don't know, getting answers from somebody. <laughs> anyway, okay, moving on. Everyone say hi, Mr. Bean. Hi, Mr. Bean. All right, moving into here. Look, I did a little more work here. I got another, I'm just so into the faux greenery right now. Got another little plant from Ikea. They have really good plants, Ikea does, and they're so cheap, even here in Canada. I mean, I think this was like $5, so it'd probably be like, you know, 27 cents down in the States. So yeah, you guys should look into stuff like that. Okay, and then this is pretty much the same, because I love all this stuff on there. A lot of it's Connie stuff. Yeah, yeah, love, love. And another Ikea, love, love, love. Really have good plants. And then these, you guys might remember from the haul. I didn't think they really said Christmas because they're so light. The green is so light, I mean. So I wanted them out for the summer. I'm just not sure where to put them. So they're not gonna stay here. I don't like anything on my island. So, and I think I might do a little painting on the green, actually. It's just a little, I don't know, too pastel-y for me. So I may just bring in some black or maybe some black and gold on it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. And then you may remember from the haul, look how pretty that is. And I have resisted. I have not had one of these yet. And I really, really want to. But, I mean, Easter's still a month away, so I've got to make that display last. But isn't that pretty? And just a simple little silver bowl. Yep, love that. And then over here, you may remember from the last haul. Look, and they ended up being displayed together, and it works really well because there's another element of silver there. So they're all different silvers. So it works together, and there's more silver there. So yeah, I think that really, really, really looks good. <laughs> yep, love, love. I really love spring and Easter decorating. And then we still got my fabulous topiaries there. I love those. So I think I think this area is working really well for me. This really well for me. This really well for me. So I'm pretty happy with those. Probably won't change those much. Over here, I don't know. I mean, I still think that's a little bare on a second shelf. So I've got to find something a little taller in that area. So we'll figure that out. All right. Over here, this whole area is working for me really well. So I've got Elizabeth here. I love these. I use these mugs for my Connie drinks that she sent me and this fabulous apple cider, hot apple cider that I drink. And then these are my really cool napkins that I use all the time. So yeah, I love those. And yeah, so that area is working for me. So, you know, most of the kitchen is working for me. And the living room, I think, is working for me pretty well, too. This area is working for me. Love, love, love. Washer and dryers. And look, I put this up the other night. This is my um, little stash of plastic bags because I don't like the look of them and I can't figure out. I, I use them a lot, so I need them, you know, close by. And my fabulous vacuum cleaner. And let's see. Oh, I painted these. What do you think? I think they turned out really cool. 
I first did them all black. They were silverish, like a goldy silver kind of color, Christmassy looking. And then I painted them black. Didn't like that. And then I came in with a lot of white. Didn't like that either. So then I went back and added some more black. And now I like it. Now I like it. I think it's good. Yeah. I might add just a few more branches. I don't know. But I even did some work on the branches. Painted them with a little bit of white. Didn't like that so much. And then I went in with a little bit of black. So they've got some, some stuff going on too. Yep. And then I did some work here in the Evil Dead closet. As you remember, I was putzing around in here and taking stuff out and whatnot. And I think it's back to where I really like it. I love the colors, you know, the, the white walls, the neutral the color of all the decor. I love the baskets mixed with the uh, mercury glass and the metals. And you've got the horns up there with the cotton. Yeah, it's really working for me. Really, really working for me. And once I get this crown here embellished with all the rhinestones that I plan on doing, it's just going to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. I think it may be a little bare right there, but I just haven't figured out exactly what to do. So we'll figure that out. I don't know yet. Yeah, so this, this area here needs a little bit of work. But I keep my cat carrier in there. So, you know, it's not like there's a ton of storage in this tiny little house, so you kind of have to, you know, you know, I mean, make some sacrifices, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So that may have to stay there. I'll just have to figure out how to make it look really cool. All right, look at my house, you guys. I love, 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 love my house. I just love the way it works so well together. All right, I'm gonna take in here. I've got some spring going on in the bathroom. Look, 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 look. Aren't they fabulous? Got some chartreuse kind of going going on in there. I just added these picks I had. I've kept these picks for a long time. I just never could get rid of them. And I've gotten rid of a lot of florals, you know, just because, you know, I pick them up on a spur of the moment kind of thing, on a whim, because I think they're really pretty, but then they never really end up in my house. You know, it's just too much, too much. But these I think are really cool. So I've got some of the berries in there, which are different picks than the, um, than the leaves and I think they look really cool with the branches and I know it's big but you know it's just me so it's not like it's in, in anybody's way except for mine and I don't care as long as it looks good I don't care okay oh and then I still have this little Ikea greenery you know like five dollars these are just so cool and they're just you know little black pots so they're so easy and I put it in this little metal pot, which was, I don't know, like a dollar or something from Ikea. So probably two cents in the States, but yeah. Okay, and then I wanted to show you my new bedding. Look, I love it. This is Ikea. It's just simple, simple, 100% cotton. So it wrinkles a bit, which I really like. I like that look because it just looks, you know, freshly laundered, you know, that kind of stuff. And I love that. So I have the, my usual sheets. I love these sheets. These are really good sheets from Bed Bath & Beyond. I have just the one set and I take really good care of them. So I, I love those. And then the pillowcases came with the bedding. I got a queen size duvet cover and a king size duvet cover. The king is on the bed because the queen didn't go down far enough. I don't like when you can see parts of the bed, you know, that aren't meant to be seen, like even right here. So you can see that part of the bed and even something that I have stored under the bed. And I don't like that, but there's just a little bit of it there. So I'm okay, you know, I'll suffer through that. So anyway, um, this is the queen here, just folded up at the, the end of the bed. And I just unfold it at night, you know, cause it gets a little cold here in Canada and it works out so well and I love how big and fluffy it looks at the end of the bed. I love, 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 love that look. And Connie, you and I were talking about that. Um, Connie and I found a fabulous drop dead toile, a gray and white toile. And it's not so busy as the normal, you know, old fashioned toile fabrics that you see. 
This one is a, a they, Ikea calls it their fresh take on a toile, and it really is. It's, it's not as packed um, a fabric and image as the normal toile is, and it looks really pretty. So, my point is that it doesn't come in Connie's bed size. She has a California king. You know, she's fancy and rich. So I said to her, it comes in a king, and you can just fold it up at the end of the bed. And she liked that idea, because she's gonna do white mat lasse for her regular bedding. So it's gonna be drop dead pretty, drop dead pretty. And I don't, I don't it's too busy for me. I used to love to all, but it's just too busy for me. And this is all my sensitive eyes can take, is just plain white. Even though I love twall, love, love, love it. I can't take it. Even a little bit of it, I can't take too much. Say hi to the nun, everybody. Hi, nun. <laughs> love that nun. Oh, and I got this plant. Now, this one I'm not, just not sure about. It's a little too green for me. I'm thinking I may just have to do some, I don't know, faux painting on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know, but I think it looks way too stark green. It just does not look that real to me. I don't know. Maybe that's what the real plant looks like, but I don't like it. don't like it. But I do like that it covers up my foot creams. I like that a lot. And I do like the bit of height and the bit of greenery there. So, yeah. So I just have to figure that out. I was looking. Ikea has, they have the best and the cheapest. And they do have some florals. You know, like they have roses and hydrangeas, you know, potted. I just don't think... I think a flower would be too busy for me. I don't know why, but I just think it would be. So, I don't know. I don't know. I may try the hydrangea. I don't know. It is a dilemma. I am on the horns of a dilemma here. Oh, I just love my house, you guys. Okay. Oh, let's take you in here and give you another quick peek in here. Look at that wallpaper, you guys. Look, 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 look. Not a lot has gone on in here since the last time I showed it to you. I still have to... Do the cord covers, hook up the electricity, well not the electricity, hook up the, the light fixtures that I have going on, and we still have to organize the paper stuff there, put the labels on, and then it's, and I do want to do some more work here. Um, even though I don't come in here a ton, I do want to keep the window kind of bare so it gets some sunlight in here. It's, this is the darkest room in the house. And I am not helping that with all that stuff over there. So I gotta figure that figure that out. But like I said, on the other hand, I'm not in here a ton. And I do have lights, you know. I do have modern conveniences. So anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to show you what's going on as far as Easter and as far as spring decorating. Look, I love this view here. The bedroom and the living room. Look how pretty my house is. Oh, brag, 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 brag. <laughs> Can't help it. Oh, and then I've got my lovely kitchen. You guys, I just love this house. I totally am in love with this house. This is turning out to be my favorite house. It used to be the house in San Diego. Is that the, so, well, you know, I don't have any pictures on the uh, computer. Uh, it was published, so maybe I'll try and scan some of those and, you know, remind you guys what it looked like. It actually was a nice looking house. Um, you know what, also, I do have pictures on the computer of the last house I was in. Um, so I think I'll put some of those in a video so you can see the last house I was in and see the comparison. Look how pretty that looks with the, the candles. Oh my god. You guys, I so love this house. Look how pretty that looks. I think I have this display down to where I really, really like it. Where, to me, it really looks good. What do you guys think? Teresa, what do you think? Connie, you're always so honest. Tell me what you think. I still have to... Once I paint that door, it's going to make a huge difference, too. And get the uh, Roman blind up. I want to get that up, too. Here, I'm gonna give you another shot of the the Easter just because it's so beautiful. Look at how cute! Oh my god, the cuteness here is just it's just infinite, you guys. Infinite cuteness. And I love my table. I love my table. It turned out just so cute. 
this is a an old uh i guess you would call it a um uh, gosh a victorian i don't know connie what, what, what well I, you know what i have pictures on the computer so i'm going to show you guys what this looked like before and i think i have some jeering as i was building it it's so easy and i think it looks so cute i love it oh there is not much about my little house that i don't love okay so i think i've bored you guys enough well almost enough look 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 how cute all right so i'm gonna let you guys go and let you guys think about how cute my house is <laughs> just kidding and okay love you connie Teresa, love you in a different way but yeah love you <laughs> that was awkward <laughs> anyway okay i'll see you guys later bye